Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. 1 Corinthians 2, nine. But as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. God wants to do more in your life than your mind could possibly conceive. But sometimes there are areas in our lives, strongholds, where we've been given we've given place to the devil that hinder the abundant spirit filled life that Jesus has planned for us. Yesterday was resurrection day. Jesus lives, and he has the power to break every stronghold the devil will ever use against us. Isaiah 43.10 You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom, whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. We've been given space during this pause, this stay-at-home order we're under right now, to know God to believe him, to understand, really and fully understand who he is. He wants us to trust him. Sometimes a broken heart finds it hard to trust. A betrayal can be deeply affected uh, in our ability to trust again. God is patient, kind, and loves you more than you could ever imagine. And he is completely trustworthy. Romans 10, 11 no one who believes, relies on, trusts in him will ever be put to shame or disappointed. Romans 10, 13, For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And in John eight thirty six, If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Let's pray. Jesus, other things besides you have ruled so many and held so many captive, but today we call on your name. We want to honor your name, Jesus. The strongholds and fears have been terrible and destructive rulers in so many lives. Help your people to overcome them. Jesus, I ask for your power in our, our lives to break free and to know the life that you have planned for the body of Christ. Jesus, your word tells me that anyone who trusts in you will never be put to shame or disappointed. We are ready to be set free from everything that has held us back from your blessing, your best, your plans, your purpose for our lives. Jesus, you said that if you make us free, then we are free, free indeed. I ask in faith today, Lord, that you set your church, the body of Christ, free free for what you are about to do, accomplish in us and through us. In the name of the one who came to set us free, Jesus Christ, amen.